Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manor for your soul. Happy Tuesday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is the eyes will tell the story. Uh, have you ever wondered how Jesus views you, how he looks at you? Well, have you ever thought about that? Take a listen to this. Over there in Luke chapter 22, Luke is writing about the, the, the Last Supper. Man. And it was after the Last supper that jesus is talking to the disciples and he speaks a word to peter and he says to peter he said peter the, the devil satan will desire to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you and when you are converted you shall strengthen the brethren Oh, uh, can I tell you, see the, see, the enemy already had a peep into Peter's future, and he knew what, what great work Peter would do for the kingdom of God, but he wanted to stop Peter. Therefore, he wanted to destroy Peter. Uh, but Jesus is letting Peter know that I got your back, man, that I'm praying for you. And But, but Peter Peter looked at Jesus and answered out of, a, out of arrogance, out of his swagger, and said, Jesus, you ain't got to worry about me because Jesus, I'm willing to go to prison with you, and I'm willing to even to die with you. And Jesus looked at him and shook his head and let him know, said, Peter, I'm going to be betrayed tonight. And tonight you're going to deny me three times. And Peter, and, and Peter, I know Peter had to be hurt because, because his confidence was so high. And, 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 and he truly loved Jesus and wanted to do the best for Jesus. And, and as the night unfolded, Jesus was betrayed. And as the night unfolded, Jesus was arrested and taken off and led from judgment hall to judgment hall. When Jesus was arrested, all the disciples, all, all of them ran and scattered, but Peter came back. And Peter began to watch from afar off. And as Peter began to watch, uh, he saw Jesus beaten and he saw Jesus taken. But he just stood there and watched. And, and, and as Peter was standing beside the fire warming himself, some of the people in the town began to look at Peter and say, Hey, you, you dress like him. Are you with him? You look like him. Are you with him? You talk like him. You sound like him. Are you with him? And each time Peter said no, no, and no. And right then a, a, a rooster crowed. And right then Peter looked up and locked eyes with Jesus. And, 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 and to Peter, the eyes of Jesus looked so disappointed. It looked so filled with, with, with disgust and disdain. And, and that caused tears to well up in Peter's eyes. And he was overcome. And he ran off. And he ran off and, 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 and left. And, and, and left Jesus there all by himself. Oh I'm, oh, I'm sure Peter was thinking all this time, all this time when Jesus was being beaten all night long and taken to the cross the next day. I'm sure Peter was thinking how much Jesus was disappointed in him. And as Jesus hung there on the cross, I'm sure he was thinking uh, how Jesus was disgusted with him and just tired of him, all that Jesus had done for him, all that Jesus had put up with. But, but, but Peter, Peter, the eyes do tell the story. Uh, but you need to let Jesus tell you exactly what his eyes are saying because it, it came it came to be that Jesus did die on that cross and that Jesus was put in that bar tomb. But Jesus got up on the third day just like he said he would. And when Jesus got up, one of the first messages that he gave was, I want you to tell Peter and my disciples uh, to meet me in Jerusalem. Can I tell you, Jesus still wanted to look upon Peter because see, Jesus wanted to look upon Peter because he loved Peter. If Peter were, if Peter were to talk to Jesus or he would have found out then and there that that when Jesus looked at him he still looked at him with love the same love that he looked at him with all those times that Peter, Peter Peter's mouth and brash actions had caused Jesus to have to rebuke him Peter Peter was being looked at with love the same way Jesus looked at him with love or the different times that Peter's arrogant ways had caused him to run afoul and, and fail. It was the same way Jesus looked at him when when he had bid Peter to come uh, and step out on the water. And Peter walked on the water for a little while, but then lost his faith and began to sink. It was the same way Jesus looked at him when he saved him and pulled him up out of the water. It was the same way Jesus looked at him when he first saw Peter and he called him to be a fisher of men. Oh, I'm here to tell you, Jesus was looking at Peter. Peter with love. The eyes told the story of grace and, and, and mercy. The eyes told the story of Jesus' relationship with Peter. The eyes told the story of how great he knew Peter was going to be in the gospel, in the word for the kingdom. Oh, that's why Jesus said, I got your back, man. I'm praying for you. 
I'm praying for you. And when Jesus was able to meet with Peter, he could let him know. You got to remember the second part of that prayer was not only am I, not, not only is the enemy trying to sift you like wheat, but man, I'm praying for you. That means that, I, that I'm lifting you up in prayer. That means that I'm making intercession for you. That means I'm going to help lead you and guide you. I want you to understand that my, my eyes tell the story of grace and my grace is sufficient for thee. Oh, I want somebody to get that today. That Jesus' grace is sufficient for you. That, that, that when you think that you've let him down, Jesus' grace is still sufficient for you. When you think that you have failed, Jesus' grace is still sufficient for you. When you make mistakes and, and you make errors, Jesus' grace is still sufficient for you. When you don't know what to do and don't know how to do it, you need to recognize Jesus' grace is still sufficient, sufficient for you. Oh, if you look in his eyes, you see the grace. If you look in his eyes, you see the love. If you look in, the, in his eyes, you see his compassion for you. Yes, the eyes tell the story. They tell the story of how, how much Jesus loves you and cares for you. And is always there for you. Look, Jesus saved Peter many times. And he's still saving even today. Jesus has saved you. He saved you for a cause and a call. He saved you for a mission and a purpose. Now go carry it out because Jesus is still watching and the eyes tell the story. Look, you have an awesome day. You be blessed of the Lord. Peace.